Yeah, good day folks, welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. On this video I will be driving through the city of <clears throat> White House, Tennessee, which is located in Robertson and Sumner County. I believe the majority of the city is in Sumner County. I mean in Robertson County. Now White House is one of the newer cities in Tennessee. I mean, White House was not incorporated into a city until 1971. And ever since this uh, city got incorporated into a city, basically the population here has been growing ever since. I mean, right now the population is at, uh, it is close to 13,000 people. It's at 12,975 people. And the population has grown by 13.8% as of the 2020 census. And when it comes to the crime in this city, <clears throat> both property and violent crime are below national average. So the crime in this city is extremely low. The racial makeup of the city is 90.6% white. 1.5% Asian and 6.1% Hispanic and all the other ethnicities that live here are less than 1% of the population. Now, this is a, uh, I mean basically, this is a typical suburban city. I mean, there's really, in my humble opinion, there's really nothing fancy or special about this place. It's just, uh, I mean, I don't know how I don't know how to describe this city. I mean, clearly, it is a safe city, and I'm pretty sure that it's quiet when it needs to be quiet. But honestly, there's really nothing special about this city. I mean, this is basically a small city where you have a lot of nicer looking homes that have recently been built in this city. Now this city, I mean, let me look something up real quick. I forgot to, I'm going to give you guys some geographics here. Okay, White House, Tennessee to Nashville is only 34 minutes. So, <clears throat> depending on where in this city that you reside and, and depending on traffic, you can probably get to Nashville uh, in a half hour. And, if, and to get to Hendersonville, it's 23 minutes, but it's Hendersonville is a Nashville suburb in Sumner County. And of course Springfield, Tennessee is 23 minutes. So within a half hour of here, you do have a few slightly larger cities that you'll have access to for more and better amenities if necessary. But if you don't want to travel nowhere and you just prefer to stay put, I mean, this city does have all your basic amenities right at your fingertips. And, uh, you know, I mean, and the uh, median 
home price here is at $299,000. And if you want to purchase a home around this area that's, that's half decent, you're going to pretty much need that amount of money or more to buy anything. I mean, I did see a few houses that were below the $300,000 mark, but not too many. So I would say if you want to live here, uh, plan to pay around 300000 bucks for a home. And if you're looking to rent, rent prices are not cheap either. I mean, your rent is going to, the median rent prices are going to go from 1000 to eighteen hundred and forty dollars a month so the cost of living here is by no <coughs> means cheap I mean compared to I mean I will say it's not the cheapest place to live in the northwest middle Tennessee area I mean in the northern middle Tennessee area I meant to say but it's definitely it's definitely not the most expensive. I mean, there's other areas that are more expensive, which I will be doing videos of a couple of those places shortly. So stay tuned for those videos. But honestly, when I started looking up some of the data to throw this video together, I was quite surprised of how expensive housing in this area was. I mean, rather it be here, Portland, uh, Millersville. Uh, I was, I mean, I was quite surprised. I'll just put it like that. I mean, now, I mean, nowadays, if, if, if you wanna live in the northern middle section of Tennessee, I mean, you pretty much need to have at least a few hundred grand to buy a house in, the, in these in these areas. And the few houses that might come up that might be lower than, let's say, 150. I mean, those houses are most likely being grabbed up relatively quick by investors. I'm going to just assume that. So, I mean, like I said, I mean, it's a nice little area, you know, typical suburban community, I would say. But at the same time, there's really nothing all that special about this city. <clears throat> but there's also not going to be any other suburban community where you're going to be able to live in Tennessee to where you're going to be able to live for this price. Now, if I were to drive through the south, the, the, the southern suburban communities of Nashville, uh, like, you know, Brentwood, Franklin, Cool Springs, <coughs> the housing prices out there wouldn't be no cheaper. And I can't and if I can remember correctly, I think the housing, matter of fact, I'm gonna look something up real quick. I got a video coming up of Spring Hill, Tennessee, which will also be a video that I will be making on this channel in, in the near future. But even in Spring Hill, Tennessee, your median home price is going to be $383,000. So yeah, I would say as far as it goes for suburban living, 
uh, white houses about the cheapest you're gonna get now obviously Portland's gonna be a little cheaper than here and so will Millersville but Portland is not you know I guess some people might consider Portland a suburb but really Portland is not a suburb Portland is more or less a small city and you know Millersville it's a suburb but it's a very small suburb but I would say as far as living somewhere that's more suburbanish such as this area this is you know although this ain't although this is not the most built up suburb although this is not going to be the most prestigious suburb I mean if you want to live somewhere that's more built up and more prestigious than this area then you're going to have to you know you can take the $300,000 Median price, and you can add another eighty-five to a hundred thousand dollars to that. So, I guess in a way, living in White House is kind of like living the suburban mid-tenancy life on a budget. All right, folks, that's all I gotta say about this city. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hope you got something out of it. I hope you enjoy the views, if anything. Alright, folks, until next time, y'all have a blessed one, and I will see you on the next one.